Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make one of these glass jar or some people call it battery chart just using a normal column chart in Microsoft Excel. Now to make this video not drag on I've actually prepared some of the items and I'm just going to walk through how I created those with you before I then show you how to place them on the graph. So what you'll need, you'll need to create yourself these elements. You'll need your glass jar or battery and you'll need your filled in versions. Now the way that I created the battery was to go to the insert ribbon and under illustrations in shapes I first of all to get the, the top and bottom I use this what they call the magnetic disc. Now that is in my recent shapes but for you if it's not there you'd find that in the flowchart shapes at the bottom so I'm going to click on that and just drag and create one for the top I'm going to hold control and drag away from that and just create one for the bottom I'm just going to make the bottom one a little bit thicker now to make the middle section I'm just going to use a normal rectangle so I'm just going to draw that on the screen and once I've finished making them look nice I'll then put them all together and sort out the sizes the first thing we need to do before we, we get this kind of see-through effect is to select all three of the elements and then under the shape outline we need to have no outline. Now I'll do the top one first to make that have this sort of light effect on it I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to format shape. Now. I'm going to set it to have a gradient fill and what I'm going to do is at each of these steps I'm just going to set the transparencies instead of at the percentage they're at I'm going to set those to 0% so once I've done that you should see that that gives me that kind of light effect now to save myself a bit of time on the middle bit I'm actually going to use Format Painter and copy that formatting onto here and then I'm going to go back through those and I'm going to set these to specific percentages I'm going to set that to have a transparency of 50% I'll set this one to have a transparency of 75% the next one to have a 100% and again the next one as a hundred and the next one as 75 so as you can see we're starting to get that sort of glass jar 3d effect now obviously I've put these specific percentages in play about when you're creating yours to get the effect that you want I'm gonna select the bottom shape I'm just going to set the fill for that to be simply normal black. What I now need to do is sort of put these elements together. So I'll reduce the size of that. So that they fit nicely together and they form this sort of battery effect that I was going for. Once I've done that, if I just select all three elements, I can then right click on it and group and make them into one element. So then I can resize that to whatever size I want. Now I've got that one, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to remove that top element. And then how I created these other ones, I'll just do one of them is I went through all the colours again but this time I changed the colour I was using to the colour that I want the bar to be so if I go through selecting that same colour again as we go through and that should give me the sort of glow effect that I've got. Now you notice at the moment it's very dark so what I did 
was on each one as well I also went through and I changed the transparency so if we look at this one here as an example I've set the transparency at the beginning again to what I did for the original one 50% I've then done a 20% there 40% another 40 and another 20 and again it's down to you if you want to play about and get your own particular options whatever works for you so let me do a 40 let's do another 40 there 100 there again you just play about and get whatever color that you want so now that I've got those elements I'll just move that over out of the way what you now need to do is you need to create your graph so let me take myself some data and do that so rather than using the figures that I have I'm going to use these set of figures so I'm going to select my regions I'm going to select those two so if I now go into insert into my column charts and I create myself my two colors so I've got my colors and my jars if I go back to where I've got my jars and I click on my jar and I copy it I can now go to the jar ones and I can paste them in if I go to each of my colors and I click them once to select I can go back copy my color and then paste it on the appropriate one final one okay now what I did to create these figures is I needed to add to the original figure another 5% just to get it to show above the actual base that we've got and I made the jars slightly bigger than what the full 100% would be and again I've gone for 110 but again you can play around for how much of a gap you want at the top okay guys so now that I've done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my graph and on the series options I'm going to change the overlap to 100% and the gap width I'm going to decrease now again you can play about with this to get an ideal width and an ideal gap for you once I've done that I then change the colour of the background give it something that's a bit more fitting I now don't need the legend don't need the axes now what I want to do is add data labels but at the moment if you can see it's showing me the the, the jar so a little trick if you do this as I've done you can go to select data you can switch them round just whilst you add your data label I'm going to do my data label and I'll do that on the inside end I'm going to click on them and then under format I'm going to use one of the word arts and I will then make those a bit bigger than they were before so now that I've done that, if I go back to 
chart design, go back to select data, I can then switch those two series round. Okay guys, so that's how I made my battery or glass jar chart. I hope you found it useful. If you did, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, please remember to press the subscription button and press that notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know when I release a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.